their YouTube. Out here on a beautiful afternoon riding through the city of Pittsburgh. Yes, traffic sucks, especially when it's 90 degrees. Uh, when it says definitely a hot day. Traffic's not too bad today and I'm not getting stuck in traffic. It's uh, almost one o'clock so you like have like a null in traffic right now. Nobody's heading home, nobody's heading off lunch, nobody's coming to work. It's a good time to get through the cities. So if you're traveling, what time do you go through the cities? You know, St. Louis, um, Indianapolis, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Columbus, all these major cities are a nightmare to get through. Traffic is there where he got his turn signal on, so I don't know whether he's trying to get over or what. He wasn't falling behind me because he's in a Mercedes, so he'd rather cut up in between them guys up there. Well, yeah, what time should you go through the city? Right now, like I said, it's not even one o'clock. I ain't even put my feet down. I came in this morning. Uh, about 9-ish, it was after rush hour, about 9.30 I left, yeah, I was through here about 10 o'clock, and it wasn't bad, well, I'll eat my words, I'm going to put my feet down, there's a tractor trailer there, which nobody ever wants to let them guys over, but if you let them through, it just goes so much easier, you don't get all this blockage going on here, but if you ever gone through Pittsburgh, this is the Fort Pitt Tunnel, and this is the nightmare they call Pittsburgh. And you got to get through this tunnel and it all these lanes. You got 376, you got 28, you got 65, all converging on this one bridge. One bridge. Everybody's pretty cordial and pretty like lets you in and stuff. Uh, two lanes are going to go to the right. Two lanes are going to go through the tunnel. People let me in on a motorcycle pretty easy. They don't really mess with us. Especially if you wear a patch. <laughs> Doesn't matter what kind of patch it is. It's just got to be a patch. You could be a hog. You could be a club. You could be anybody. As long as you got a patch on your back, they tend to get out and let you go. Now watch that guy. Yep. Ain't nothing come up behind me, so I'll get my butt over. So what happens if you go through the tunnel here, it's two lanes of traffic. If you're in the left lane, it goes up the hill so if a truck is in the right lane he's gonna go slower and we got about a three mile was it a five mile or six mile stretch to 79 north and south so once you get through that interchange it speeds right back up but that little blockage right there can really back you up a good ways so we're gonna go into the mighty Fort Pitt tunnel the bridge is two lanes, so you do two levels. So it's not a right and left. There's an upper and lower. So you enter the tunnel heading out of town on the lower side, and you come into the city on the upper side, which I didn't record this morning, which is pretty cool, but would have been really cool doing that. But I missed that. Did press the opportunity. I come back again. No, y'all do that. Yeah, check it out. Riding through tunnels in the heat. The only thing that's nice is that uh, once you get going on here and it's in the middle of the afternoon, traffic's not bad. But anyways, what's the best time to go through your city? Uh, ours seems to be uh, after 12 and after 10. So you got between like 10 and 2 is the best time to travel through Pittsburgh. Traffic's not so bad. You can get through without many stops. But you definitely don't want to go through here between 3 and 5, 3 and 6, and like 6, and no, it's more like 7 and 9 are the two worst times through. But hey, thanks for watching. That's the Pittsburgh Traffic Jam. Have an out.